<laughs> okay, small tutorial on how to set up Ragdoll. So we have a humanoid model. Uh, you can do it with anything. It's easier with humanoid. So we have um, an object. I, he's got an animator, just a basic, it, nothing special there. He's just going to sit and idle. Um, and we're just going to go create 3D object, ragdoll. And then we are going to drag. these things over hips and we need left leg left lower leg left foot right and off with all that uh, there is obviously some things out there uh, assets that do this type of thing for you automatically uh, but really not that difficult. Mm -hmm. So right arm, right elbow, middle spine, and a head. You can give him a mass. Uh, I'm going to say 100 and create. And the colliders are set up. If, if you want, you can go in and adjust all these colliders. It's not a big deal. Um, so, just to show you without code what happens with Ragdoll is you have a guy there, and if I turn the animator off, oh, he went flying through the ground. Normally they don't go flying to the ground. Let's see what happens if we put them up in the air a bit. Maybe I got them too low. Yeah, okay. And that him turning invisible is just update when off screen. But yeah, so that's ragdoll. Um, through code obviously we can just flick the animator on and off uh, that's really all it is right there, there are some other things you can do to help performance though uh, such as going through and turning all of these bits and pieces oh yeah see they're on the the discrete but turn them into in the in the in, in the, the chimatic and then on an event you go through them all and you flick that off when you disable the uh, animator so on the animator uh, if I make an event we're gonna call it Oh, how about we do this instead? We'll give him a UI on pointer click. And set property on the animator. Enable false. Right. I'm way up in the air, but apparently you need to adjust the collider so it doesn't go down to the floor. Take the camera, let's just position it up here. Give that a physics raycaster. Put in a UI event system. see what happens so he's standing there I go and I click on him oh my UI pointer 
Oh, there he goes. Uh, I don't know why it didn't work before, but um, the the hit reactions that you can see things like Puppet Master do and stuff. Uh, that is actually a, a blending of of more or less two characters, one using ragdolling and the other one using an animator and you, you lurp the ragdoll to the animator uh, it, it's just it's a you, you're far better off for something like that to get an asset to do that one and be pretty hard to do that one uh, the one downside about ragdoll though is without assets like that like you can ragdoll them but when you want him back right if you knocked him over and you want him to stand back up you have to turn on the animator which whew, off he does that which is where those assets come into play where they they can bring him up gradually um, there are various things to also help uh, such as iterations Yeah, there's. Wow, where's my time? Nah, I'm not gonna bother playing with that. But anyways, there there is some things you can do to also help with the whole craziness. But like I said I got a lot of these sitting on the discrete and stuff. They'd work better on the con on the continuous. But you see how much better that is with the higher iterations um, obviously higher iterations higher performance costs as well though so keep that in mind but that is how you ragdoll in, in playmaker it's literally just turn off the animator you just gotta set it up which is by which is by default with unity with ragdoll all right thanks for watching